From beef to chicken, bones galore, simmering all day until it can't take no more. A broth that's rich, a flavor divine. Bone broth is the potion that's sure to shine. Thank you, Chairperson. Welcome, Welcome, Honorable Judges, Ladies and Gentlemen, and our fellow 4-H members. My name is Isabella McDougall. And my name is Chloe Smith, and we're a part of the Yellowhead 4-H Club that we've been in for six years, and we are representing the Kamloops Okanagan region. Today, our demonstration <coughs> is on how to make brilliant bone broth. So, some of you may be wondering, what exactly is bone broth? Well, Bone broth is a broth that is packed in protein, nutrients that is made from simmering animal bones in water for a long period of time. It is packed in lots of amazing things like collagen, electrolytes, proteins, and vitamins, and can be consumed in many different ways, including being drank in straight as it is, or turned into many sorts of delicious soups. Wow! Yeah, I bet you're all thinking what Bella's thinking. That sounds pretty amazing. But you haven't even heard all of the amazing health benefits that bone broth has. Bone broth has so many incredible health benefits, including strengthening many of your body's systems, such as the digestive and immune system, as well as strengthening your joints. It also promotes weight loss, better sleep, improving the health of your hair, skin, and nails, and it's even thought to have anti-aging properties. Now, that sounds absolutely amazing, but not only does it have all of these amazing health benefits, it also helps create less waste by using a part of the animal that is often overlooked and turning it into something that is delicious and healthy. Now, you may be thinking that this is difficult to make, but truly it is not. With our recipe, it takes quite little preparation and very simple household objects and ingredients to make something amazing. Now, let's get into the supplies that you will need to make your very own bone broth. The simple supplies that you'll need are a crock pot. However, this is very versatile. You can use a crock pot, a pressure cooker, or just a pot on the stove. Bowls, measuring spoons, large spoon, knife and cutting board, strainer, and jars and lids. Now, the simple ingredients that you will need for bone broth are... For your bone broth, you're going to need any type of bones, we will be using beef bones today, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one apple, two carrots, two celery sticks, one tablespoon of whole peppercorn, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of coriander, one onion, one bulb of garlic, one tablespoon of vinegar. This is a very crucial ingredient as it helps to better extract the nutrients and break down all of the great things that are in your bone broth. And lastly, you'll need enough water to fill up your crock pot or at least cover up all of your ingredients, as well as any herbs and spices to your taste. We will be using thyme, rosemary, and bay leaves. The simple steps that you'll have to follow are roughly chop all of your ingredients. You're going to want to start cutting your carrots and celery. It does not have to be pretty. It's just going to be cut down. Now, make sure to remember to practice safe knife handling skills and always ask for help if you need it. Once you've cut your celery and carrots, you're going to want to quarter your onion and your apple. Then, you're going to want to remove the cloves from your garlic bulb and smash them under the flat of your knife. Then, you're going to want to add all of your ingredients. First, starting off with bones. When you are using bones, you want to make sure that you sanitize your hands and surfaces before and after you touch your bones. This can help prevent any unwanted diseases or sicknesses that you will get. Today, we are using beef. Then, you're going to add your celery. Then you're going to want to add your carrots. Hey Chloe, <coughs> how do you make soup gold? I don't know, how do you? You add 24 carrots. Wow. <laughs> then you're going to want to add your garlic. This is a mixture of the salt, pepper, coriander, and all of our herbs. This is our apple and our onion, which I have already pre-quartered. And 
lastly, this is our vinegar and our vegetable oil. Now that you've added all of your prepared ingredients, you're going to want to fill up your container with water until the max line or until all of your ingredients are fully submerged. I'm so glad we're making our own bone broth. I went to the store last week and they were all out of stock. Oh. <laughs> How about this, Chloe? How do you make bone broth laugh? I don't know. How do you? You give it a humorous. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> now, once you add your water, you're going to want to let this cook for 12 hours. We will be cooking it for 12 hours because we chose to use a slow cooker, and this would be the same amount of time if you were cooking it in a pot and lid on the stove. However, if you use a pressure cooker, you will need to cook it for just up to about three or four hours. Now that our bone broth is on its journey to perfection, we're going to clean up our mess so our moms don't get mad. <laughs> Hey, Chloe. What? What do you get when you cross bone broth and a joke? I don't know. What do you get? You get a super funny punchline. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> All right. After 12 hours, thanks to television magic, our bone broth is done cooking. Now you're going to want to let it cool for at least long enough that it won't burn you and you're going to take a slotted spoon and soup out all of your large ingredients. It's really helpful having a slotted spoon because I tried this without a slotted spoon, ended up spilling it all over the counter and my mom got very, very mad. <laughs> After you scoop out the majority of your large ingredients, you're going to want to take the inside of the crock pot and pour it through a fine mesh strainer to get all of the smaller ingredients out. Once you've done this, try and get as much of the broth out of the vegetables, and you are now left with your very own brilliant bone broth. Let's summarize. What is bone broth? Bone broth is a broth that is made from simmering animal bones in water for a long period of time and is packed with many healthy benefits. Bone broth has so many health benefits, including strengthening many of your body's systems and your joints, as well as promoting weight loss and better sleep, as well as improving the the health of your hair, skin, and nails, and it's even thought to have anti-aging properties. The simple supplies that you'll need are crock pot, bowls, measuring spoons, large spoon, knife and cutting board, strainer, and jars with lids. The ingredients that you'll need are any type of bones, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one apple, two carrots, and two celery sticks, one tablespoon of whole black peppercorn, salt, coriander, and vinegar, as well as one onion, one bulb of garlic, enough water to fill up your pot, and any herbs and spices to your liking. The simple steps that you'll have to follow are roughly chop all of your ingredients. Then you're going to add your bones, garlic, oil, vegetables, and herbs and spices to your crock pot. Then you're going to want to fill it up with enough water to reach the max line or submerge all of your ingredients. Now you're going to want to let this cook for 12 hours. Once it is cool, you want to strain out all of your bones and other ingredients. And then, now you have made your very own brilliant bone broth. Once you have strained out all your ingredients, it is now time to take your bone broth and put it away. Or you can also make any amazing soup, or you can even just drink it by itself. Now for a toast. From beef to chicken, bones galore, simmering all day until it couldn't take no more. It has a broth that's rich and a flavor divine. Bone broth is a potion that's sure to shine. But now everyone, we've made it to the end, and we hope you can share our bone broth recipe with all of your friends. Mmm, I feel younger already. <laughs> <laughs> this concludes our demonstration on how to make 
Brilliant bone broth. Are there any questions? Yes. Do different animal bones um, give different health benefits or like different properties? The question that has been asked is, do different animal bones give different health benefits? They're mostly the same considering most animals and I guess species are built of the same um, tissues and organs. Um, mostly you'll find um, collagen is very high through a lot of um, like meat animals, um, which is an amazing health benefit for your skin. Um, I know that um, if you were to use fish, um, it also adds better um, omega-3s and lots of fatty acids. Uh, does that answer your question? Yes. Are there any other questions? Yes. It's supposed to have health benefits. How much are we supposed to consume? The question that has been asked is, it is said to have health benefits, so how much are should you consume? Well, it's... There's no real exact thing. Um, the health benefits are just some things that drinking something um, that is packed with all these amazing things um, can just help with. Um, I know per cup, or it's quite healthy per cup, or like one cup, it's about 35 to 50 um, calories, depending um, on what it is. But I know also depending on how much salt, and it also depends on the ingredients you add. But this recipe has about. 40-ish calories per cup. Yeah. Um, to really get all of um, the amazing benefits that comes with it, I would say that you probably have to drink it uh, kind of religiously, probably um, like every day, I would assume, to really get those um, added qualities. Um, yes. On a much, on a very high scale, if you were to drink it every day. Does that answer your question? Are there any questions? Yes, in the back. Which part of the animal can the bone come from? question that has been asked is, which part of the animal can the bone come from? Um, it doesn't really um, matter what type of bone you use. Um, for previous demonstrations, we've uh, used leg cutoffs, um, which are also a bit cheaper to um, the large bones that we're using today. They were about 10 bucks per bone, but for those smaller um, just round femur bones. It was about eight bucks for a pack of six frozen, um, which was really great. Um, it doesn't really matter. I know people have used kind of quite random parts of the bone. Um, I've seen some people throw in ribs before. Um, so it doesn't really matter as long as it's, um, doesn't, if it's really thin, maybe make sure that you strain it really well in case it kind of breaks down um, and can, because it's still quite intact after you um, let it uh, cook, so just make sure there's no sharp shards of bones and stuff. Also, certain bones, like the leg cutoffs and bones with like that have been cut, they tend to have more collagen from like the marrow because it has an easier time getting into the bone broth. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Are there any other questions? Yes. What is the total cost of of making bone broth, and is that cost better than what you'd purchase in the store? So the question that has been asked is what is the total cost of making bone broth and is it better than what you buy in the store? Um, for making bone broth, for uh, buying all of the ingredients, it's around $60, which is kind of expensive, but most of these ingredients um, you, you may tend to have already in your household, like vinegar, oil, um, you know, hopefully pepper and salt and some spices. Um, they're also, most of your vegetables, like carrots, onions, celery, garlic, they're quite typical, so you'll probably have it already. And also, what we make has a better concentrate of proteins and nutrients than what you would buy in the store. And you also know exactly what you're putting into your bone broth versus buying something that can say it's all organic, but nothing's truly ever organic. Um, so yeah, does that answer your question? Are there any questions? Are there any further questions? Yes. How do you store your bone broth and how long is it good for? The question that has been asked is how long do you store your, can you store your bone? How do you store your bone broth and how long can it be stored for? 
When we store our bone broth, you can put it into jars, which will last up to about a week in the fridge, or you can put it into freezer bags and it will last about up to six months in the freezer. Does that answer your question? Yep. Are there any further questions? Are there any further questions? Are there any further questions? If there are no further questions, this concludes our demonstration on how to make burr